Screw you, doggies. God dang it. Get off me. Eh. Come on, do your Zelda thing. Yes. Get the other one, get the other one, get the other one. Ugh. Miss. Come on. Get that doggy. <laughs> Horseback archery, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway. Alright, let's get off. That was slightly unnecessary. I'm not sure where Serena went. Yes, I died due to falling damage and going around the corner. I'm sorry. Okay. I put her in there so she could laugh at me. But it happens sometimes. Got like stuck going off the map somewhere. And then I had to travel back to Markarth. And ugh, it was horrible. So, this is the cave. I do believe where Ariel's bow may be found. more cool caves. I do like that. I do enjoy this. It's nice and quiet, nice and tranquil. All these wonderful scenic locations. I just, I'm so glad I'm playing this game in like super high def. So worth it. Anyway, do you believe that's a spider that needs to die? Yep, that's... Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Alright. It's really dark in here. Really, really dark in here. Whoa. Stay on your that would have been a bad bridge to fall off of, I think. Let's see here. What else is in here? Just one shaft of light. I'm starting to have real big trouble seeing, so let's activate night eye mode. Just look around. Serena, are you gonna get out of the way from me? Thank you. Okay. Nothing over here, nothing over here. I guess I can't really see any new way we should probably go. I can pull up my map super quick. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Let's see what the map says where we need to go. It says there was a way back there. Hmm. Maybe this was a dead end or something. Oh god! Was that supposed to happen? Woo! Oh jeez. Spider! Ah! Spiders! Holy crap, this is bad! Yeah, resurrect one of those spiders. Ugh. Done and done. Woo! <sighs> Let me just take a second out really quick to catch my breath after that harrowing experience. Where are we? Are we? Are we? Are we? Oh, how far did that stream take us? Jeez, it took us all the way down that? Holy crap. Your spider pet's Who's freaking there? me out, Serena. How did I miss you twice? There we go. Okay. There are a crap ton of spiders in here. I should have brought some, like, Ridex or something. And as far as dark caves go, this is probably the darkest cave I've ever been in in this game. 
that I can even remember, like, seriously. Okay, how far away is this bow? It's up there, alright. So we probably, there's a way we can get around to go back up there. Cool. I don't like this fog hanging over the ground either. That just reeks and begs of creepiness. Is there any way we can get past? Ah, there we go. Here we go. Up this little incline. Be nice and cautious. Should probably be looking out a little bit more for traps and stuff in here. These people. Why would anyone want to set up camp here? I don't know. I'll take all these. And, oh dear, look at all those steel bolts I just got. This means it's crossbow time. Because I'm pretty sure we have a lot of ammo for the crossbow now that I don't have for my other weapon. Okay, cool. What's our map say? We can go back that way. guess. We can go back that way, or we can go that way, which is down. Darkfall Cave Note. Read. Sister, I know that you'll come find me, but it will be too late. If you find this letter, get out of this forsaken cave as soon as possible. We were fools to think we could live so close to such creatures and live peacefully. I should have headed back to camp with you after we placed the torches down there. I thought these trolls would be different, that they would somehow understand we didn't want to hurt them. I am now cornered. And it's only a matter of time before one of the trolls decides to finish me off. I hope it is a quick death. Farewell, my dear sister. Oh. They're trolls. They are trolls. Okay. What'd that do? Oh god. Well, that almost killed me. Rest up a little bit after that. <laughs> Take a short rest after that harrowing encounter. I'm bad, I'm sorry. Uh, just keep going down here, I guess. That was the sound of a spider dying, I'm pretty sure. Probably Serena's little pet. Oh gosh. This is freaking me out, man. Night of the Trolls. Night of the Trolls! Night of the Trolls! Am I going the right way? No, I'm not going really the right way at all. I'm just exploring. Exploring is a cool thing to do sometimes, though. So that is fine with me. Or maybe... This is the way I'm supposed to go. Here. Be careful. I think we may be in for some trouble. Yeah, I got that feeling too, Serena. Let's just keep sneaking around. I feel like I'm about to get ambushed like any second now. Oh, there they are. There's the trolls. There is the trolls. Okay. Let me throw on one of my poisons on this guy's damage health, damage health 6. I'll take damage health, uh, 9 poison damage. Okay. Line up my shot. Breathe deep. Let it go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh don't let him regen. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Whew, peace out. Woo, peace out, peace out, peace, peace out, peace out. Don't let him see us. Do not let him see us. Oh, he saw Serena. 
Amazing. Utterly amazing. But somehow I still got sneak attack damage on him, so whatever. <laughs> Pretty great. Okay. Was that all the trolls in here? I think it was. Yes. Okay. Recover one of my dwarven bolts. I'm hoping that arrow perk actually counts for bolts and... Um, regular arrows, because that would be annoying. That would be really, really annoying if it didn't. Bloody rags. Blech. I don't see anything else in here worth getting, Serena. At least I'm pretty sure I don't see anything else in here worth getting. So I guess it wasn't an ambush, it was just trolls. <laughs> the trolls be trolling! Of course, of course, of course. Thank you for that wonderful pun. All right, we're getting closer to the arrow that's pointing out what in the world's going on here. What's that? I can feel some kind of... Come forward. You have nothing to fear here. All right, cool. Hi, Knight Paladin Gelibor. Is he a... What are you? I am Knight Paladin Gelibor. Welcome to the Great Chantry of Oriel. This t cave is a temple to Oriel. Oriel, Oriel, Halkosh, Akatosh, so many different names for the Sovereign of the Snow Elves. Snow Elves? You're a Falmer? I prefer Snow Elf. The name Falmer usually holds a negative meaning to most travelers. Those twisted creatures you call Falmer, I call the Betrayed. Whoa! My mind just got blown. I imagine you know why we're here, then. Of course. You're here for Oriel's bow. Why else would you be here? I can help you get it. But first, I must have your assistance. Uh, sure, dude. What do you need? I need you to kill Arch Curate Vertha, my brother. Ooh. So kill your brother. Why? The kinship between us is gone. I don't understand what he's become, but he's no longer the brother I once knew. It was the betrayed. They did something to him. I just don't know why Oriel would allow this to happen. Hmm. What exactly did the betrayed do? They swept into the Chantry without warning and began killing everyone without pause. Did you not fight back? The Chantry was a place of peaceful worship. I led a small group of paladins, but we were no match for the betrayed's sheer numbers. They slaughtered everyone and stormed the inner sanctum where I believe they corrupted Vertha. Ugh, that sounds gross. So you don't even know if he's alive. He's alive. I've seen him, but something's wrong. He never looks as though he's in pain or under duress. He just stands there and watches, as though waiting. Have you tried getting into the Inner Sanctum? Leaving the Way Shrines unguarded would be violating my sacred duty as a Knight Paladin of Oriel. Okay. An assault on the Betrayed guarding the Inner Sanctum would only end with my death. Okay. So, Way Shrine? Yes. Let me show you. What you doing there, buddy? Serena, you can get off him. I don't think he's a bad guy. So... Whoa! This structure is known as a way shrine. They were used for meditation and for transport when the Chantry was a place of enlightenment. Prelates of these shrines were charged with teaching the mantras of Oriel to our initiates. What's that basin in the center signify? Once the initiate completed his mantras, he'd dip a ceremonial ewer in the basin of the way shrine's center and proceed to the next way shrine. So these initiates had to lug around a heavy pitcher of water. Marvelous. How long would they have to do that? Well, once the Initiate's enlightenment was complete, he'd bring the Ewer to the Chantry's inner sanctum. Pouring the contents of the Ewer into the sacred basin of the sanctum would allow him to enter for an audience with the Arch Curate himself. All that just to end up dumping it out? It makes no sense to me. It's symbolic. I don't expect you to understand. So, let's get this straight. 
We need to do all that nonsense to get into the temples so we can kill your brother and claim Ariel's bow. I know how it all sounds. But if there was another way, I'd have done it long ago. Okay. The only way to get to my brother is by following in the Initiate's footsteps and traveling from Way Shrine to Way Shrine, just as they did. The first lay at the end of Darkfall Passage, a cavern that represents the absence of enlightenment. So, how many more Way Shrines are there? There are five in total, spread far apart across the Chantry. These caves must be huge. Caves? Oh no. The Chantry encompasses far more than a few caves, as you'll soon discover. Oh dear. But before I send you on your way, you'll need the Initiate's Ewer. So I need to just fill this at each way shrine. Once you've located a way shrine, there'll be a spectral prelate tending to it. They will allow you to draw the waters from the shrine's basin, as if you've been enlightened. Um, okay, I guess I'll be off then. This may be the last time we're able to converse. If you have any questions before you leave, I suggest you ask them. Otherwise, all I can do now is grant you my hopes for a safe journey. Hmm. Whoa. Questions? I expected as much. Yeah, because this I guess this is the last time I'm gonna be able to talk to this guy. Um what's the chantry of Oriel? This is or was the epicenter of our religion. Most of the Snow Elf people worshipped Oriel. The chantry was constructed near the beginning of the first era to provide a retreat for those that wished to become enlightened. So, most Snow Elves. Our Empire had temples to some of the other deities. Trinimac, Cerebane, Yfrey, and Finister rounded out the rest. But Never those heard of those. temples paled in comparison to the glory of the Chantry and its Way Shrines. So, the Way Shrines are part of the Chantry. Oh, yes. They were an important part of the process here. They represented the steps the Initiates took on the path to total enlightenment. Sadly, the magic used to construct these wonders were lost long before I arrived here. Okay. So, who are the spectral prelates you mentioned? They're ghosts of the Snow Elf priests that tended the Way Shrines before being slaughtered by the betrayed. Through the grace of Oriel, they were restored to their spectral form to enable them to continue their duties. Good, so they'll still be able to help us, all right. I'm afraid in their current form, they still believe the Chantry to be an active center of worship. They won't respond to you in any way other than believing that you're an initiate and you're undertaking the journey to the inner sanctum. Hmm. Who were your people? We were once a wealthy and prosperous society that occupied a portion of Skyrim. Unfortunately, we were constantly at war with the Nords, who claimed the land as their ancestral home. It appears the Nords won. In a manner of speaking. We had always maintained an uneasy alliance with the underground-dwelling dwarves, and when faced with extinction, we turned to them for help. Surprisingly, they agreed to protect us, but demanded a terrible price. The blinding of our race. Hmm. Everyone couldn't have possibly agreed to that. There were splinter groups that resisted the agreement, and even some that sought alternate alliances. But when it was all said and done, those elves were either slaughtered, vanished or gave up and took the dwarves' bargain. So, what turned your people into the betrayed? I've often asked myself that very same question. The blinding of my race was supposedly accomplished with a toxin, certainly not enough to devolve them into the sad and twisted beings they've become. Hmm. So why weren't the Snow Hill Elves here affected by all that? Because I think... I think you're not blind, but I don't really know. Sometimes you can't really tell with these people. The Chantry is quite isolated, so it took some time for word of the Dwarves offer to reach us here. By the time the compact had been completed, it was too late for us to even attempt to intervene. So, ah, is that why you retain your sight? Correct. We only numbered perhaps a hundred at the time, so our presence remained a secret to the Dwarves and the Nords. Ironically, our undoing came at the hands of our own people. You mean the betrayed? Yes. They swarmed the Chantry in vast numbers until we were completely overrun. We never really stood a chance. I assume that the Arch Curate was corrupted by them when they found a way to breach the Inner Sanctum. Are there other here? Ugh. 
Are there others here like you? Bertha and myself are the only two snow elves that remain. Hmm. So who were your people? We were once a wealthy and prosperous. Unfortunately, oh, we were constantly yeah, at war with them. My bad. Okay, cool. So that's the portal darkfall passage, and then I guess I might have just missed a room back there. Um, I assume that would just be a way back, but I guess not. So what are we gonna do now? I think we're going to pray at this altar and see what kind of blessing we get from it, because I was curious about that. Um, not that. Where is it? Blessing of Oriel or something? There it is. You are 10% more effective with missile weapons. Interesting. I guess that counts for bows. Questions? It is much. Ugh. Well, this looks weird. This looks weird and crazy, guys. I'm gonna take a break for now. Um, there were a couple skips in my recording because Skyrim's being a bit of a jerk to me right now for some reason. I don't know why it suddenly started crashing a lot. But uh, I'll tinker with it and see if I can fix that. It shouldn't really affect what you guys are seeing very much though. Um, I wanted to add a special note at the end of this episode or recording. Um, if you're a fan of RPGs and you're looking for something really cool I made a friend recently who is doing a let's play of Persona 4 that I probably will never get around to doing because I won't be able to take it seriously. And his name is Mr. CBS Scarhawk. I will try to provide a link to his channel in the description or just in there. And I normally don't do in video advertisements, but this dude has like about a 120 subscribers and he puts way more work into his stuff than I do and I really want to see him take off and be a badass so if you guys are in the mood for another RPG or if I'm not updating enough for you you might want to go check his stuff out Serena wants you to Serena wants you to check out all the videos don't you Serena don't you Serena anyway we'll be going in this crazy little portal after uh we get back next time. So, thanks for joining me again. See y'all later.